Across the country, people are talking about crime in the Bay Area, specifically San Francisco. The homeless, drugs, and empty downtown and crime. How do we move beyond these issues and build a better Bay Area? This is what we'll address in a live town hall style event today with Mayor London Breed, Police Chief Bill Scott, and District Attorney Brooke Jenkins. Part of the conversation will be around moving past San Francisco's viral videos of smash and grab robberies and rampant shoplifting. Here's ABC News anchor Dion Lin. It's shocking videos like these that have given San Francisco a reputation for crime in recent years. What the I've reported on many horrendous cases and received tips from viewers daily. On social media, viewers are clearly fed up. A Gallup poll shows San Francisco was ranked a top city for perceived safety in 2006, but has seen a nearly 20-point drop in recent years. But does perception align with reality? We comb through years of crime stats, and the results are complicated. Overall, San Francisco's violent crime rate is low compared to other major cities. In the most recent data from 2022, San Francisco clocked in at 658 violent crimes per 100,000 people. This lags behind New York, Los Angeles, and Houston. It's also half the rate of Minneapolis, a city with less than half the population. Violent crimes include homicide and rape, aggravated assault, and robbery. A robbery is when property is taken from someone through threats or harm. San Francisco was thrust into the national spotlight with this video in 2021 of a massive smash and grab robbery involving nine people at a Louis Vuitton at Union Square. The next year, gun-wielding individuals hit a camera shop for $180,000 in gear. According to SFPD data in our neighborhood safety tracker, robberies increased slightly in the last 12 months compared to all of 2022. But they haven't reached pre-pandemic levels. Videos of shoplifting have gone viral as well. Who could forget this video, captured by ABC7's Leanne Melendez at a Walgreens, where a garbage bag-wielding shoplifter rides a bicycle right out the front door. Shoplifting has become such a problem, some stores say it's part of the reason they've closed in recent months. Data from the California Department of Justice shows a significant rise in 2022 than the pre-pandemic average. And then there's this. Here in San Francisco, it's not hard to find broken glass from car break-ins on the street. You'll see signs like these all over, encouraging drivers to park smart. They frequently happen in tourist hotspots like Lombard Street or the Palace of Fine Arts. Cases seem so commonplace. Several months ago, the San Francisco DA and police chief held this briefing. We are restaffing our deployment for our tourist areas. If you look at unconfirmed vehicle incident reports from SFPD, the numbers are high. 18,262 break-ins year to date in 2023. But they're actually lower than pre-pandemic, when in 2019, there were more than 25,000 break-ins during the same months. Are you sick of it? Of course I am. I've interviewed hundreds of crime victims over the years and ask many of them and they will say the data is skewed. It's because oftentimes they're frustrated and have given up reporting to police. In San Francisco, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.